Hawaii was struck by its deadliest tsunami on April 1st, 1946, triggered by an 8.6 magnitude earthquake off Alaska. But what exactly is a tsunami? A tsunami is not just a single wave. It's a series of waves traveling across the ocean in what's known as a tsunami train. These waves vary in size, and the first one is often not the most dangerous. In fact, what seems like a small wave can be the precursor to something much more powerful. As the tsunami approached the Hawaiian shore, it behaved like a massive train wreck. The front of the wave slowed down, while the back continued to push forward. This compression of energy caused the wave to rise, lifting out of the sea with immense force. The waves, crossing the Pacific at a terrifying speed of 500 miles per hour, hit the Hawaiian Islands with devastating force, reaching heights of 33 to 55 feet throughout the state. The first two waves that hit Hilo Bay, shaped like a bathtub, caused the water to slosh back and forth. When the third wave arrived, it combined with the receding water, creating an even larger and more destructive wave. The devastation was catastrophic. The tsunami claimed 159 lives. In Hilo alone, 163 other people were injured. 488 buildings were destroyed, with another 936. Beyond the Stars, subscribe now.